A teen boy is dead and another is facing charges after a shooting in Roanoke. In fact, there have been two different acts of gun violence in the last 24 hours. 10 News reporter Shane Dwyer is live at 13th Street in Salem Turnpike where it happened last night. So Shane, people in the community are upset and simply frustrated. Yeah, Lindsay, there's a lot of pain in this community. The uh, the shooting incident yesterday afternoon, the first one happened down here at 30th Street in Salem Turnpike. Now, this one involved four teenagers, two victims, and then two that are on the perpetrator's side. That, for a lot of people, is a very alarming fact. Now, one of those that is asking why is Bishop J.L. Jackson. He's a local pastor and has been a trusted community advocate against gun violence. He shared this post on social media, sharing a call to action. He says the fact that one high schooler is dead and other is in the hospital and two more are suspects is a heavy burden. It's heartbreaking. I wish to God we would never have to experience this in our city. Uh, it's heartbreaking when it's an older even individual, when it's a, uh, an adult, when it's a grandparent. It's even more heartbreaking when it's a child who hasn't even had a chance to live yet. Now, a 15 year old is now charged with second degree murder in this case. The victim in the later shooting is a teenage girl and was hospitalized. No arrests in that one. They also do have a second victim who is still in the hospital on the first shooting. Back out with us live here, Bishop Jackson says that there is a very specific thing that the community needs to do right now. I'm working on that part of the story and we'll have it coming up tonight at 6. Live in Roanoke, Shane Dwyer, 10 News, working for you.